to my mind, one of the main ways that technology will transform humanity is by adding new senses. So this is my uh, personal interest. We have eyes and ears and nose and mouth and fingertips and so on. And these are all ways of gathering information from the world. So obviously, uh, you know, we're not piping light into the brain or piping sound into the brain. What's happening is that your eyes capture photons and turn those into spikes, electrochemical signals in, in neurons. And your ears are capturing air compression waves and turning those into spikes. And your nose is capturing the shapes of molecules and turning that into spikes that your brain gets. And your fingertips are detecting heat and pressure and so on, turning that into spikes and that goes up to your brain. So all your brain deals with is this one currency. That's all it has. It's not seeing or hearing or feeling the world directly. It's, it's constructing its model of what it thinks it's go is going on indirectly based on all these, all this essentially zeros and ones that are coming in. So what I started wondering about as a neuroscientist several years ago is, could we feed information to the brain via unusual channels? So uh, we built this vest that's covered with vibratory motors and that um, can be used to pass in any kind of data stream. And that of course, you know, touches the skin and you get these big patterns and that gets to the brain. So as an example of how we're using this, um, we are using this with deafness. People who are deaf and want to be able to understand the auditory world and what's being spoken around them. Um, uh, we capture sound and turn it into patterns of vibration on the fly. And deaf people can come to understand the auditory world that way. And they, um, you know, there, there are about 200 reasons that somebody can go deaf. And so whatever that reason is, we're just feeding that information in through a different channel. Uh, but of course, the interesting part is that we can feed in any kind of information, whether that's Twitter data or stock market data or weather data or anything at all, we can feed in that kind of information to the brain and, uh, and people can come to understand that is a new, is a new sense.